bids. But anyways, got another Tiberium Dawn match ready to go. In the southwest corner, in the red trunks, we have So Scared playing GDI. And in the northeast corner, wearing pink trunks, very pink, the hot pink almost. Playing Nod, it's Agent AAA. Very standard build right here. Go straight for the ore. Both sides go straight for the ore refinery right there and using their light support to scout all sorts of units to start. To have a look, looks like Agent AAA is just using this one little buggy to do some scouting on the sides. This is a massive 6v6 map that we're playing on. And we have just the two little players. Look at this map, it's so small. Gets a look at the uh, Tiberium Refinery Associate right there, starts putting a few cheap shots into it. Sees the soldiers and is just going to micro away. In the meantime, so scared, getting a more balanced look at the map in general, but has no idea what's going on in the main base. Vader Tripoli sort of sees the construction yard, has enough vision, sees the uh, not buggy has gone any of which ways of directions. Let's take a guess. Did it go north or did it go east? I'm going to say it went north. I'm going to guess correctly. Buggy just sort of hit behind these little trees right here, and he's going to come back in, sort of get another look. Going to playfully poke at the random infantry death right there. It's going to go straight for the weapons factory right there. It's going to probably start spitting out some medium tanks here momentarily. And in the meantime, up here we have two refineries. Two refineries for... Meanwhile, Ripley, Tournament Administrator, sort of messing with us. Hand nod right here. So a little bit of about of a 30 second delay for So Scared to get his second refinery up there. Can't tell what exactly he's producing at this particular point, if anything. Oh, there's Barracks finally coming up, and he's going to pack his MCV up here. And he's going to move it up, so a very basic main base right here to start out with. Let's see if this buggy calls this out right away. Does not see the construction yard moved. Now he's going to poke over here and he's like, oh, where did it go? I don't know. It disappeared. It's like a magic trick. Meanwhile, the MCV has moved over here. Which gives him pretty decent construction range. He might throw some, some defenses out here. So, this meantime, each triple is going to wonder where the heck this is. Finally spots it out. So, he's going to finish clearing the shroud around here. Almost. Not quite. This buggy's taken quite a, done quite a bit of alert work around here, doing a little bit of the micro. So now, he's going to go head to head with a Humvee, and that's not going to be a fight you're going to win, buddy. If this buggy stops for whatever reason, turning left, turning right, or doing whatever, it's going to die. I think it's eventually actually going to get away. This but this Humvee actually just gives up, so it's going to get away barely any health whatsoever. And here is a infantry rush en route from Agent Triple A. Mini gunners, flamethrowers, rocket soldiers in the back. See, there's a hospital in the middle, north and south. There's no structure here in the middle, which this would be a perfect place for like a couple of oil derricks. So, so scared to call this out. Yep, he was able to see just with the Humvee parked right there, and he's gonna get a couple of cheap kills right here. He knows the main composition of this force right here. He's gonna lose a couple of units right there, and this Humvee's just gonna, probably gonna go suicide straight into the other main base. Actually, gets a good look at a couple of rocket soldiers and the more flame troopers coming in. I'm gonna get a good look right here, but then it's finally gonna go down, so. There you go. Here's your main. Engagement right here. APCs coming up for so scared. He's gonna counter straight in. Oh, there's a guard tower up right here. These flame troopers are gonna get all wiped out right here. And most of those flame troopers are gonna go down before the guard tower finally comes down. These infantrymen. A triple A is gonna be in between a rock and hard place. North and south flanking maneuvers going on for so scared. And they're white. Agent Triple A wisely electing to regather the, his reinforcements up here. So he's just going to send these flame troopers down. He's probably just going to send these flame troopers right at him and see what happens. First helipad comes up right here for Agent right there, along with the communication center and a third refinery 
And now we see a pack for Age of Triple-A right here. He's going to get ready to move his MCV. Meanwhile, so scared, getting his first look at the base right here with this one lone mini gutter. Sees nothing of so scared space right here. So most of the contacts right here. This little battle right here, a couple of flame troopers sort of poking them in and away. Where is Agent moving his base? He's just going to move it over here, just sort of off to the side. Probably looking to build some defenses up in a little bit. Meanwhile, this Apache Longbow is fully loaded and is going to be doing some recon when we turn to good vision range. If he brings it in right now against his APC, it's dead, but no worries. Got the Flame Troopers. No big deal. Flame Troopers doing some damage. Here comes the Guard Tower. This is going to be very cool. You need to get down very quickly. Get safe down. Minimal casualties right there. Actually going to be spitting flames right here. A little bit of friendly fire. I think in there for Agents and Forces here. MLRS comes in. Shoots a couple of units. This power plant's going down. Look to be an advanced power plant. So, overall, a very decent attack right there for HAAA, but it's very expensive. Very expensive attack right there. Spent a lot of money on those flame troopers and only able to get the one power plant down. So at the moment, these rocket soldiers currently starting to get creeped up on by the Tiberium. So scared it's going to run into them right away. This ape APC is not going to last very long. There you go. Loses this APC right away. Here comes the Apache Longbow. It's going to start cleaning up a bunch of this infantry right here. Good micro so far overall. A couple of rocket soldiers are going to get away. Right now the Longbows are going to focus down this uh, MLRS. Down he goes. And now it's going to take out the rest of most of the infantry right here. It's just going to micro around. Dancing left, right, and center. And they're going to go home. Good job. Well done for those guys. And that's going to avoid a push right here from So Scared. So in the meantime, let's take a look at the rest of the map right here. I see a few flame troopers right here for Agent. Not really doing a whole lot. Just sort of hanging here, holding this push angle. A little bit of a gap right here. If he spreads out these Apaches a little bit, I think he can get a good, better Enemy coverage overall. Approaching. Uh, looks like there's an airstrike inbound for So Scared. It's going to take a few shots at this Tiberium refinery. We see a Chinook has come out to play. And I believe these can carry about 8 infantry. So he may be looking to do a quick drop somewhere here in the south, land them, and push into this power plant. Does this agent know where that power plant is? Yes. He knows exactly where this power plant is, so he can attack it straight away, possibly deny this communication tower that's down right here. And we see So Scared has brought up the advanced communication tower. This is going to allow him access to his ion cannon. Do all these longbows coming in. Going to take a few shots at this communication tower, get some good intel, and dance away. Here comes an airstrike. Oh, perfect bait and switch right there, but just barely missed right there. Gonna try to finish off this barracks, deny him a little bit of damage. One Apache Longbow goes down, the other one's heavily lit. Sees that uh, So Scared has brought up four Harvesters in total, getting a bit of a log jam here at his one refinery. Meanwhile, Agent, five, six refineries, and looks like to be that many Harvesters as well. I see three currently out there, three in the depot, so there you go. Two Chinooks right here. Are they loaded up with any units as of yet? No. So scared. Basically has no idea what's going on right here at this particular point. In the meantime, Agent has a good look. Oh, here comes the longbow down right there at the very end. That second one. Not long for the world. Now you see the advantage of having a base over here. For a nod unit. Since you have the airfield and your aircraft has to come in from the east, it, you can actually get units quicker this way than if you were, say, over here in this northwest corner. Because otherwise, your that plane would just be landing now. That's anywhere from a 5 to 10 second delay. And wait a minute, the power's out. Flame troopers coming in from the backfield takes down all of the power plants. Four, so scared. And there's no way to fire on down units right here. Fourth weapons factory is down. These flame troopers are going to go down, but. Only just this one power plant right here for So Scared. As Agent AAA lets him know, yeah, you cannot power down power 
you cannot power down anything in Red uh, Tiberian Dawn. Makes for an interesting twist in the old dynamic, and right now, major advantage right here to Agent AAA right here. Has control over most of the map, and is just pushing units like crazy right here. Here comes another Flame Trooper push right here. These APCs are going to catch it. They're going to go down right away. MLRS trying to support the units. Going to go straight after the Tiberium Refinery. Try to get it taken down. This is going to be a major economic disadvantage. It's the Longbow is sort of just watching here. So it appears at the moment, Agent's just able to keep his units going. As long as he keeps spamming Flame Troopers in. And here comes a big push right here. Three light tanks. And flame troopers galore. In addition, three artillery units about to come in. These eight light tanks will be able to make mincemeat out of that APC. Just needs, just needs to get one shot on the MLRS. The MLRS is able to get away for the most part. Tries to turn and shoot, gets taken down. Now the Artie is just going straight after the construction yard. This might be a point for Team Scott right here coming up. Associate calls the GD. His construction yard is getting pounded. Right here. And he gives up the ghost right there. Just a quick 11 minute, 15 second match right there. So very, very effective unit right here. These flame troopers able to do a lot of damage in a close proximity. So you just basically spam enough of them and you'll be able to, you know, close the gap, take down any defenses that you may encounter. And Age of AAA is like, yeah, I didn't get to do that little drop I was planning. Because there's Chinooks around here somewhere. Yep, see, there's three Chinooks right here. Two are fully loaded. And that would have been a very devastating attack. Yeah, he saw the Chinook when he did an airstrike earlier. They, were only able to get, they weren't able to get a whole lot of airstrikes in there. So there you go. That's a quick point to Team Scott. Right there, GG's were called.